It's your boy, Legend Bro. We back for another video today, now. See? Now, we got one of the most underrated movies in the game. It's a DreamWorks classic, in my opinion. We got the B movie. Now, I must say, for DreamWorks movies, this is in my top five, no questions asked. Let's get into it. The B movie. Where's the honey? Oh, he got shoe game, okay. Never mind, he got the same style over and over again. He ain't changing up. Yellow, black, yellow, black, ooh, black and yellow. Yeah, let's shake it up a little. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> they treating this like it's real life. Deodorant, mouthwash. He got the Ferrari. The B movie. Let's get into it. It's a special day. Finally graduating. I never thought I'd make it. Yeah, three days of grade school, three days of high school. Three days? What you talking about? We gotta be in school for at least 20 years over here. 20 years. Hey, did you hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to his funeral? No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows just think someone you die. Heartless. You're such a hothead. Yeah, I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. But I forgot. One stand. The B is done. But quick story. I've been stung three times, but it was only in one setting. I was a kid. I had a water gun. It was like under the porch. I started spraying it. All the bees came up. I got to go in. Ran into the house, slipped, hit my head on the floor. It was game over. I had three stings. It was a long day. Never mess with bees again, I'll tell you that right now. He's smooth with it. Wait, I just realized, why do y'all have cars if y'all can fly? <laughs> well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. New Hive City graduating class of 915. Darn. Yeah, and that concludes our graduation ceremonies. Yay! I guess it's time to get to work. No downtime, nothing. What a graduation. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. A nine to five, damn it. Gosh. But the reason why I like this movie is because they literally turned it into dang near reality. She says time to get to work, nine to five. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. <sighs> At Hunnex, we also constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. <laughs> Put this man in concussion protocol. <laughs> hey, yo, he's had enough. <laughs> hey, yo. Ooh. I don't think he made it. I'm not gonna lie to you, all those jobs out there, that'd probably be the most fun one, honestly. Cause who wants to do that all day? But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? Huh? What you mean? Bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Whew. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. <laughs> <laughs> She's serious. What y'all laughing about? Barry's like, I'm not with this at all. I'm gone. Now we starstruck. I can't believe we're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He's not with this at all. It's still available? Hang on. Two left and one of them's yours. Congratulations, son. Step to the side, please. Yeah. What'd you get? Picking the crud out. Crud picker. Whoa. That is stellar. What you happy about? This is sick. Any chance of getting on to the Krellman, sir? Sure, you're on. Oh, I'm sorry. The Krellman just closed out. Oh, what? So many options, but nothing was substance. What happened? Well, whenever a bee dies, that's an opening. See that? He's dead. Dead. Another dead one. Deady. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. But that's life. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Is his job available? Because he's just having a good old time. Destroying lives. Advisor and Tim and Paul Polisher might wrangle it. Barry, Barry, what do you think I should... Barry? Barry! 
Jerry. That boy gone. I don't blame him either. He said you're on your own. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Yeah. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? He ready to take a risk. Oh, just initial that. Thank you. A life waiver. Sheesh. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Just babbling like a cicada. <laughs> hey, yo. They got him drunk. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right. Launch position. Let's do it. Ready for this hot shot? He ready. Yeah, bring it on. Because he saw them jobs back there. He said that's a no go. Yo, destiny. And this is when Barry's whole life changed. For the better and for the worse. It's up in the air. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. Oh, sweet Lord. Be. He's in La La Land. Ah, guys. This could be bad. Uh, affirmative. Very close. Uh. I didn't realize that was her playing tennis. This is why I have to watch movies a couple times. <laughs> that boy, Ken, he was a character. They said there's nothing we could do. They said this is out of our jurisdiction. Match point. You can just start packing up, honey, because I believe you're about to eat it. Calm down. <clears throat> Huh? Hey, yo! Oh, no! Oh! You got lucky. I gotta get home. Yeah, because it's raining. Oh. Oh. You better get the ducking and weaving. His engine's going out. Crash landing. Um, hi. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> the number one rule. You only had one rule. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's just, I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, actually, how would you react if you saw a bee talking? The first thing that's popping in my head, I'm a millionaire. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Uh, that was a little weird. <laughs> Are you all right? No. No, she is not okay. Look, in, in tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. But it was my... You gotta let this go. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Huh. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. This man is sick. I'm here. Is that that same bee? Yes, it yeah. is. I'm helping him sue the human race. What? <laughs> He's so confused. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size 10 and a half. Vibram Soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? <laughs> Listen, you better go, because we're... He loses his girl before his very eyes. Just gonna push him out the door like that. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. Oh. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Bro, he just wants to chill with his shorty, bro. This is so sick. He's losing her because of a bee, bro. He's just trying to have some yogurt night. That ain't right. That ain't right. But he did say her grandma's backhand's a joke. He said, I'm gonna take advantage. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. That's a nice tie. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. He using the guilt factor. It seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. Well, they're very lovable creatures. Uh, Yogi Bear, Fozzy Bear, uh, Build a Bear. Yeah, <laughs> you mean like this. <laughs> Bears kill bees. <laughs> Yo. Like his big hairy head. The jury started tweaking out. Yeah, y'all losing this case. Well, I just think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. <laughs> oh. Well, hello. Oh, Ken. Hello. Uh, I didn't. This man is getting his girl taken by a bee. I never seen nothing like it. Didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I uh, tried to call, but the battery. 
Hey, yo. He's tired of this. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Yeah. Oh, that was lucky. Well, there's still a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up, sure. Whatever. Hey, <laughs> yo. Get a fool. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Mm. Took his chair. Disrespectful. Barry was looking at your resume, oh. and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. <laughs> you think I don't see what you're doing? Hey, look, I know how hard it is trying to find the right job. We certainly have that. <gasps> do we? I can't do this, bro. This boy Ken is so down terrible right now. Just imagine you losing your shot to a B. Like, I don't even know how you'll wrap your head around that. That's just down terrible. I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. Oh. <laughs> He's going through it. <laughs> Yo. This man a fool. Yeah. He's had enough. He said it's one on one. Little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia. Trying to kill the man. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life any more valuable than mine? That's funny. I just can't seem to recall that. Ah! I think something sticks in here. How do you like the smell of flames? He's gonna burn his house down. <laughs> this man is sick. He sees this girl slipping from his fingers, bro. He's stressing. <laughs> and on his last leg. Oh! Water bug, not taking sides. He said, I'm not taking sides. What you talking about? I've got issues! Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Emma. He's not bluffing, bro. Yeah! Damn, up, dude! <laughs> the water! Woo! That bowl is gnarly! He got Jiggy on him. Dirty yellow ring! What are you doing? You know what? I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. <laughs> she sounds crazy! What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. Sneak dissing. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Oh. Oh. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. He said, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with a bang. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. <laughs> she drove him to the brink. He can never live this down. It's gonna be on his mind forever. Uh, he got some fans now. I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your uh, relationship to that woman? <gasps> hey yo, that's what Kim wants to know. Do you live together? Wait a wait a minute. This isn't Are about you her little <clears throat> bed bug. <laughs> hey yo, what? I've seen a bee documentary or two. Now, from what I understand, this man a fool. Queen give birth to all the bee children in the hives. Yeah, but so those aren't even your real parents. Oh, oh Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You are. How you gonna say hold me back? He's denouncing bees. And don't y'all date your cousins? He tempting them. Don't do it. <gasps> Adam, don't. It's what he wants. He trying to bait him in. <laughs> this is literally called sacrificing your own life. <laughs> Was it worth it? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> this man's dramatic. Mr. Montgomery! I have been failed by a winged beast of destruction. You see? You can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. <laughs> this man is stupid. Only thing they know, it's their way. This man definitely losing this case. 
will come forward to suck the poison from my healing buckets. Please, I will have order in my court. Oh, man. That's how you know you're losing the case. You got to do something like that just to get some attention. That's so crazy. This man's pitiful. Here is your smoking gun. <laughs> What's this man in a diaper stroller? This, this harmless little contraption. No. This couldn't hurt a fly. This man is like his neck broken. Well, that's game over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Look at what has happened to bees. You literally just gave a demonstration. Free these bees. You won the case. Get this man out of this baby stroller. It's pathetic. Vanessa, we won. Yay, I knew you could There you do go. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry. Concussion protocol. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Sadly, he's right. After all that, he is right. Barry, who are you wearing? Uh, my sweater's Ralph Lauren and I have no pants. Hey, yo! He flexing on him. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? Well, we've been living the B way a long time. Now y'all have second thoughts? Come on, bruh. Stick to your guns. All the honey that was ours to begin with. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, big-headed, bad breath. They live in large. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Calm down. No. Take him out. <laughs> Not Winnie the Pooh. Two hours, then it'll be fine. That's crazy. Products and la di da human. Are right, they doing the most now, bro? They taking everything. <laughs> Oh, for some honey. Honestly, bruh, y'all could have worked a deal. Every honeycomb, they get a bear honey. Because they only need one. The hives aren't that big. You know what I'm saying? They should have worked on a deal. They on vacation for good. One thing can change everything. Now your girl's out of business. And I just called her your girl, your B. Now you even got me fooled. Where's Ken? Polar nurse, easy, just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. You have to get the world back in motion. Restore some order. just got this huge tulip order for a wedding and I can't- Are they married now? Like, what's going on? Oh, that bee is living my life! Yes. Like, will this nightmare end? It's not ending. I feel sorry for that man. He lost his girl to a bee. He's been down terrible since the jump. He's living his life. Ken, you're just gonna have to let her go. It's game over. If you lost her to a bee, she'll talk to anybody. I don't think she's okay. 